from the Steel City of Pittsburgh comes our live telecast. We're here today for our third broadcast of the season. Both of these teams ready to add a victory to their record as the Broncos square off against the Steelers. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. Williams is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by Gore. And they're ready to go on offense for the first time. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. And he gets the delayed handoff. Lloyd is there on the stop. Kirkland kept his legs moving. Gets seven hard-earned yards. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Watch the hard count. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Houston takes him down. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one dimension. And that plays right into the defense's hands. Third and a deuce. Ball on the 29 yard line. We're coming to the right. Get you set. Push it. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. Small will come in now to punt it away. Moss back to return. This is a bad one. They'll spot this one where it went out. First and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Do something, do something. Keep the throttle down. The Broncos line up in a 4 3. They go with a draw. Mathis is there on the stop at the 42-yard line. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. Gain of a handful. Ball on the 42-yard line. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 32, the lone back. Aimed it off to the back. Jenkins is there for the tackle at the 33-yard line. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks, and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. No stop. No stop. Then we're using three Let's linebackers. Let's go, boys. Give it to the halfback. Barnett is there on the stop at the 31-yard line. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Gain of about a yard. Ball on the 31-yard line. Ball on the 31-yard line. Get me going. Come on. The Broncos with a four-man front. Let's go. it off to the back. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Nowhere to go that time. The defensive line gets very good penetration. This line's very aggressive up front. They like to stunt and use power moves to get into the backfield. A lot of teams think that the best way to move the ball on the ground against them is to run it right at them. Try and wear them out. Looks like they might be trying to do that same kind of thing. Going deep. 
he's there for the catch. Touchdown, Touchdown. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. That worked because all the receivers got great blocks downfield, leaving some wide open spaces. Akers comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. After the touchdown, the score is 7-0. Steelers. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. From the seven yard line. You know that the offense has their eyes set on tying this thing up here on this drive. We'll have to see what they're able to put together. Ball on their own 24. Start the drive at the 24 yard line. First and 10. Clear! Clear! Hey, watch the screen. Keep it Blue game, blue game. Gets the call. Setting up play action. Gets rid of it. Houston comes up to make the play. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. Lined up in an eye. Here we go, baby. With the pass, and it's caught. Lloyd is there on the stop. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy, but good old fashioned drop back and pass, and it's working. First, first and ten. ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go now. The Steelers with a four man front. Driving back to pass on a first down. Deep throw. He had a shot, but couldn't come up with it. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened. Second and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Let's go. Hey, watch the ball. It's a blitz. Throwing it away. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Ball at about midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Steelers come out in a dime packet. Dropping back. Rowing. Drops the interception. Gore was the intended receiver on that play. He'll get ready for his second punt of the game. So the punt goes out of bounds. Inside their own 20. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. Play action. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Perfect spiral on that pass. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns. Can thread it in there against tight coverage. And he can put some air under it when he's trying something downfield. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 30 yard line. Then we're using three linebackers. 
it off to the fullback. Rodgers is there on the stop at the 39. I like how this big guy can run with the football. Yeah, and this fullback can do more than just get out there and lead block. Give him the ball and watch him rumble. Second and about one. Ball on the 39 yard line. Hey, let's go. Denver goes with a four man front. Blitz is coming with the throw. Almost in a second. Barnett had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. He wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Third Three minutes one. remaining in All the quarter. The 39 yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Denver using three linebackers. All day, baby. Come on. Not one. Going to the first on short yardage. Closing in. Throwing. He's there for the catch. The 10. Touchdown, Steelers. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. point attempt is good big drive right there John and that defense is really struggling now to make plays the offense seems to have their number out there they need to rethink their strategy on defense maybe blitz a little more trying to create some additional pressure they have to find a way to get this offense out of their rhythm Williams comes in to kick off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is taken by Gore. Kick off return 14 yards. I think down in the kick might have been the better option, John. You can't really fault the returner for trying to make a play for his team. He just needs to be a little more patient while making some better decisions when he decides to bring the ball out. They're Inside their own 20. At the 14-yard line. First and 10. They saw Kirkland him. lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Encroachment number 63. Still so he's called for encroachment. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. First, First and five, five after the penalty. On the 19-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Nice play fake. Going long. What a catch. Number 26 comes up to make the play. At the 39, they came with pressure and paid for it. Yeah, that was a great-looking play. They made the perfect call, and they caught him in the wrong defense at the right time. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. What's screen? The Steelers come out on a nickel package. Pressure coming. Wrapped up and brought down. The big man gets in there for a big sack. He's got a great combination of size and move. He won't be winning any races, but he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. Following the sack, it's second and long. Johnson goes in motion. Watch man. We're talking about Ria. Looks like someone Good jumped ball. early. Let's start on the offense. Number 38. Kirkland Still was second flagged down. for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. It's now and second long. and long after ball the penalty. 49 yard run. Let's go. Do something, do something. Play football. They line up in the eye formation. Pressure, ball loose. The Steelers scoop it up. So the pressure forces a turnover. And the key to that fumble was that the quarterback didn't have good possession of the ball. 
He has to either get rid of it quicker or tuck it in and take the sack. But you have to hold on. Ball on the 37 yard line. Ball on the 37 yard line. Yes, right, With a counter play. Hopped in the backfield for a short loss. Great penetration there. And that's the thing to stop any kind of run between the tackles, you have to get some sort of penetration. You have to get into the backfield, and when you do that, you make the back change direction, making him go where he doesn't want to go. Ball on the 40 yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Crosses it out to the left. What a collision. Number 20 comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. Number 32 running hard going right through the arm tackles. The 27-yard line is the spot they'll have to get it to to convert on this third down play. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Drops back. Rowan. The pass falls incomplete. That short pass on third down fails. David Aker will really need to hit this one. It'll be a 50 yard attempt. He hooked that one lap. No good. So they're ready to go on offense after the missed field goal. They'll start at the 39 yard line. Kirkland, the lone back. He'll pass on first down with a deep throw to the right side. And he can't find a way to keep possession. The quarterback did a great job of getting some air under that pass, hitting his guy right in the hand. It just looked like he might have lost a little focus as he tried to bring that pass in. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. They line up in the I formation. Let's go, Ralph. Rowing. Almost picked off. Johnson had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. Well, he'll drop a few like that one. Third and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Parker lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Gets rid of it. The receiver has it. Lloyd is there for the tackle at midfield. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Stay both now. Let's go, dude. One back. Play hard and fast, baby. So, one more, son. Watch the snap now. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. They're coming with the blitz. Throwing. The 30. Big opening. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Broncos. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. The extra point attempt is good. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. Dickerson will be kicking off. Moss back to 
He got all of it. This offense can really get it done, and they have a chance to add to their lead with a good drive here. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Are we, are we? Oh, man. Gets to the lane handle. Barnett is there for the tackle at the 23 yard line. Number 32. Takes advantage of a little daylight. Picks up three yards. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23 yard line. Denver using three linebackers. Pushes off. Mathis is there on the stop at the 36. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. First and ten. Ball on the 36 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. The Broncos line up at a 4-3. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle by Jenkins. The defensive line wins that battle. Yeah, and he was looking for a place to cut back. But the defenders had all their gaps, and there was no place to cut at all. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 14-7. Steelers. The Broncos, 7. The teams as much size, and we'll start the second quarter. Ball Second on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. Regular. What screen? You yeah. turn it up. Come on. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. He gets the handoff on the delay. Barnett comes up to make the play. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. I'm coming through, baby. Danny, Danny, Danny. Denver comes out in a dime package. Throws it. Complete to the wide receiver. Doss is there for the tackle at the 50. Let me tell you, there's no one calmer in the pocket than Tom Brady. First and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Here we go. Watch your eyes. Still the Broncos come out in a 4-3. On the call. Rasheed is there on the stop at the 48-yard line. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Ball at midfield. Denver comes out in a 4-3. Toss play to the left. Nice move. Here's an open. Price comes up to make the play. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking him right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Number 83 moves in motion. I can do it, baby. Let's go. Play hard and fast, baby. Looks like somebody got off the line a little That's early. On the offense. Number Still 65 moved a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move First until the ball snaps. Ball on the 33-yard line. Yeah, you see me. What's the hard count? Denver comes out in their nickel package. Throwing. Incomplete. Myron was his intended target. The intended receiver on the play. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 33 yard line. From the start, from the start. Let us dictate. Dimebacks in for this play. Deuce it, deuce it. Throws it, and 
and this pass is complete. Doss comes up to make the play at the 28. Henderson with a decent six-yard game. It's third down and 10 to go. Denver with six defensive backs. Gets the pass off right on target to the wide receiver. Number 83 is able to come down with it. That completion will keep the chains moving. I'll tell you, there's no substitute for picture perfect route running. 11th play of this drive. Here's inside the 20. They've had some big scoring plays, but this is their first time in the red zone. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. Number 32. Runs it through the middle again of about six. And this is the 12th play of this drive. Ball inside the 10. Denver lines up in a 4-3. Receives the handoff. Touchdown. He pokes his way through the middle of that line. He's able to run straight ahead into the end zone. Watch it here. The blockers create a crease. He finds it, and he's threw it on his way to six. Solid, long drive, taking a lot of time off the clock. Yeah, that was some show out there. They're looking good right now. And the defense better find a way to plug up those holes. Williams is just about ready to kick this one away. Got all of that one. This one is taken by Gore. The defense looks to rebound after that last effort when they allowed a touchdown. They'll start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Steelers line up at a 4 3. With the pass, it's batted away. He somehow got that pass away. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous, and he has to get rid of the ball. Second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. coming through, baby. Hey, watch that three! The Steelers with a four-man front. Gets the pass off, nearly intercepted. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let it get away. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back. Under pressure with the pass. Incomplete pass. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 47 yard line. Ball on their own 47. Start the drive at the 47 yard line. 
First and ten. I can do it, man. Denver lines up in a 4 3. Tucks it away. Closing in with the throw. They're going to spot this one at the 42. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Great throw to beat the zone. I'll tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. Right. First and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. Yes! Oh! Move in, move in. The Broncos come out in the 4 3. He'll pass on first down. Steps up. Throws it. And it's caught. Number 20 is there for the tackle at the seven yard line. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop you. Seven yards to go for the touchdown. Ball on the seven yard line. Let's go now. The last time they were down here, they scored a touchdown. Coming. The defense likes to keep the pressure on. They'll bring extra guys on an overloaded side, hoping for turnover opportunities. It's second and goal at the 13 yard line. Defense, get ready. The Broncos come out in a 4 3. He'll test the left side. Runs him over. They're going to spot this one at the four. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. The defense has to make some adjustment. They aren't even slowing him down. I think about using a little more eight-man front up there. It's third and goal at the four-yard line. Then it lines up in a four-three. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Touchdown, Steelers. They go over this play all the time at practice, and they use it a few times in just about every game. But let me tell you, most of the time it's successful just like that. Right. Akers comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. Another drive, John, that results in a touchdown, and this game is quickly getting out of hand. This defense has a solid core of players. They just don't seem to be playing very well in this one. They still have to go, and maybe they can turn things around. But they have to find a way to swing the momentum in their favor. Williams in to kick this one off. Good distance. The kick sails out of the end zone. They forced a three and out on the last series. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Out of the gun. Throwing. Ooh, nearly picked off. Thomas was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Randall will work out of the shotgun. Keep the throttle down. This off, this off. With the throw, incomplete pass. And good pressure forced him to get rid of the pass early. Any way you look at it, an incomplete pass is a heck of a lot better than throwing it to the other guy. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here go, baby. Parker, the lone back. Hey, watch that three. Everything you got. Pressure. The rush gets to him from behind. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. Yeah, you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. The 
The defense did a great job on that series, pushing them backward. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Fair catch made at the 50 yard line. Two minute warning coming up. First and ten. Denver using three linebackers. Throws it. And he hits his target. Mike Doss is the man to bring him down. That's his third tackle. Mike Doss looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. First Almost at the two-minute mark Ball now. On the, -yard line. It's on. Clear. Clear. the Broncos Clear. line up in a 4-3. Two minutes to go. The injury sustained earlier was minor, and they expect him to return to the game after a series or two. Keeps it off. Barnett comes up to make the play at the 27. Running the ball consistently is a first step in creating a balanced attack. Ball on the 27-yard line. Ball on the 27-yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. The Broncos come out in a 4-3. Rashid is there on the stop at the 23-yard line. Number 32 picks up a couple on the delayed handoff. On a third and short situation like this, the defense has to be ready for anything. On third down now, they have to get it to the 21-yard line to pick up the first. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. They can't get the first down, but they're in field goal range. yard field goal. That veteran kicks it through. And with that right there, they've now scored 17 unanswered points. They just can't seem to stop them. will be kicking off. And he got all of that one, a great kick. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. The Broncos don't have much time as they start their drive at the 20-yard line. Ball on their own 20. The Steelers go, go, go. come out in a dive package. And the sack. He does a nice job using leverage to get after the quarterback. When you combine that with his quick first step, you really have something special. Following the sack, it's second and long. Stay at home. What screen? Let's go, Z. Let's go. All day, baby. Come on. Come on. Be careful. Defense, get ready. Danny, Danny, Danny. All right, here we go. Very hard to Hand it off. Number 26 is there for the tackle at the 19-yard line. When you have a good balance of run and pass on offense, the defense doesn't have a chance to focus in on either one of them. They need to be prepared to cover both options. Six-yard game. Mike Doss is back in there after getting taken out with an injury earlier. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Looking to run it here. 
number 24. Comes up to make the play. Denver comes up short on third down again. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 42-yard line. First Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. That's wrong. One of us gonna make a play. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Hey, watch that screen. Get it up. Keep the throttle down. Gives the ball off. They're going to spot this one at the 45-yard line. That's a half dozen tackles. Now. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Second and six. Ball on the 45-yard line. Denver goes with a four-man front. Let's go, boy. Brady with a man in motion. Come on. Let's go, D. Let's go. All day, baby. Come on. Encroachment number 97. Still so he's called for encroachment. Yeah, he jumped early and touched an offensive player, and that forces the officials to blow the whistle. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. The Broncos come out in a dime package. It's on. Let's turn it up, D. What's going back to So we're going to take it. Red ball. Play a game. On the offense. Number 12. Still second down. Six it's second down and six to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Gets rid of it. He can't bring it down in bounds. Going into halftime, half, the score is 31 7. The Steelers. Steelers. 31. The Broncos. 7. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Dickerson looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Moss back deep to return. From the one. And a fumble. The Broncos pick it up. Great play by the special teams to recover the fumble. I'll tell you, sometimes these kick returners try and do too much when there's nothing there. And this is exactly the type of thing that's going to happen. Following oh, the fumble, they take over with great field position. Inside the 20 for the first time today, and we're in the third quarter. It's to the end zone. He was tipped. Thomas dropped a sure touchdown on that play, John. Usually he's pretty reliable around the goal line. And they really do like to go to him whenever they need a big catch. He just got to do a better job of watching the ball into his hand. It's second and goal at the five. Split back this time. Crosses it out to the right. And he's tackled behind the line by Gwen Robertson. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. It's third and goal at the 10. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping him today. And he dropped it. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it.
That's much more than an extra point here. And the kick sails on. It's first and ten. Start the drive at the twenty-yard line. First and ten. The Broncos come out of a nickel package. Handed off to the back. And he just got level. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. We're talking about real. Denver lines up in a 4-3. Rodgers comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Gain of a handful. It's second down and five to go. No stop, no stop that motor. The Steelers come out with the receivers bunched on both sides. With the carry. Rasheed is there for the tackle. Number 32 picks up the first down. That's the second time on this drive he's been able to move the chains. So they have first and ten here. Denver lines up in a 4-3. Danny, Danny, Danny. Play football. Keep the throttle down. Well, that handoff. Great move to get through. Jenkins is there on the stop. Pick up of about five. Five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Denver using three linebackers. Gates goes in motion. Keep moving. Hand it off. Nick Barnett put the hit on him, and now he has seven tackles. Number 32 takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third it's third down three. with three to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. We coming to run. Bring it up. Denver comes out in a 4-3. He tucks it away. Setting up play action. Gets rid of it. And it's caught. They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice-looking drive here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. Blue day, blue day. No, one, one, one. We're talking about The Broncos with a four-man front. Great fake. Throwing. Incomplete pass. Got just a little too much air under it. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 39-yard line. No more, fellas. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. We turn it up. Let us dictate. Keep the throttle down. He gets the count. They'll go with a play fake. With the pass, the 10. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Tom Brady is a guy who's always looking downfield. He never looks at the rush. He hangs in the pocket, and he makes a throw. He's a cool guy. He's a tough guy. Akers comes in for the extra point. The, the extra point attempt is good. good. Great run. 24 straight points. They've really been playing some good football lately. They finally seem to have it all put together.
Williams is back and ready to put this one in the air. Booming kick downfield. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. The last drive culminated with a missed field goal attempt. Let's see what happens as they take over again. First and ten. Kirkland in the backfield on the goal, fakes the handoff. Looking for something long. Incomplete pass. The defense forced the issue that time, John. The guys up front got good pressure, forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Second and right. Yes, oh. So we're going to take it. Right, They'll go from the shotgun. Drops back. Under pressure. Rowing. This one falls incomplete. He decided to try and pass it, but he was taking so much heat that it just kind of wobbled out of there. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Gets rid of it. Pass was incomplete. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. And so the punt goes out of bounds. First Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Broncos with a four-man front. Hey, let's go. Closing in. Chris Jenkins is a guy that is so strong and powerful inside that when the ball is snapped, sometimes he can just bull rush his way right into the quarterback. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Going long. Jumps and makes the catch. John, they convert on second and long. It's a first down. Yeah, and when you have that kind of pass protection and a clear field of vision, then you can put everything into the throw and usually make it accurate and on time. Ball on the 31 yard line. Ball on the 31 yard line. What's green? Let's run, man. Denver comes out in a 4 3. From the start, from the start. Hand off to the tailback. Wright is there on the stop at the 27. Number 32 rumbles forward for a gain of four. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. It's back. Denver using three linebackers. A little in this direction. Mathis is there for the tackle at the 10. Took the handoff and picks up a nice game. Yeah, that was a ramble. Reminiscent of his early playing days. They need 10 for a score. On the 10 yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Here I go. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. Can't get him from the They'll spot this one at the nine-yard line. And so that makes tackle number six. Just drive nine yards away from a touchdown. One back. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. I'm coming through, baby. Hey, watch that three! 
Throwing. Caught. Touchdown. touchdown Steelers. Steelers. Great catch for the touchdown. Yeah, he's a veteran receiver, and he knows how to get open in the end zone. Akers comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. They did everything they had to on that one. And the end result was a trip across the goal line and a TD on the board. Comes in to kick off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let us dictate. The Steelers with a four-man front. With the throw, jumps up, he has it. Sanders is there on the stop at the 25. He's a tough guy, and he'll go for those passes wherever they are. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. Everything you've got, back in the gun. We like the practice. Out of the shotgun. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. A little bit long, overthrowing the receiver. Looks a little jumpy back there. One thing you never want to do is look at the rush. You want to keep your eyes downfield. If you start looking at the rush, then you can never be effective. Third and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. Let's go, boys! Got the snap down! The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Stepping up, big time lick. Kelly picks up the sack. He brings him down for the second time. Moss gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. Ball on the 33-yard line. Ball on the 33-yard line. Here we go. Come on. It's on. The Broncos with a four-man front. All on up, y'all. tackle. Rasheed is there on the stop at the 27-yard line. Number 32 has been clearly a big part in their offensive plan. Now has over 125 yards rushing. Second and four. Ball on the 27 yard line. We're talking about Rhea. Knock him out. The Broncos come out in a 4 3. Don't stop. Don't stop that move. With the pass, right to the back. Barnett is there for the tackle on the reception. At the 26. One yard Number 32 goes down after a minimal game. It's third down, and they have to get it to the 23 to convert. Denver lines up in a 4-3. Aimed it off to the back. Hayward is there on the stop. First and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Will, Will, Will. They got it into the end zone on their last red zone drive. With a counter play. Nick Barnett is showing no mercy. He's on anything that moves, and that takedown was his ninth. Second 
Ball on the 15 yard line. Ball on the 15 yard line. Watch your eyes. Three shoot. Hollings in the backfield. Hey, watch that screen. Watch your back now. With the throw. And he hits his target. Anderson. Henderson makes the catch, but doesn't get very close. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Denver. The Steelers begin this fourth quarter with an insurmountable lead in the ball in the red zone. Eight is the magic number right now. Big play, baby. Not here. Consistent success on third down, which they've had usually translates into a win. Looking for room. Hayward brings him down. They get enough to move the chains. They get it again on third down. That's the kind of thing that deflates a defense. They keep getting them in these third down situations. And they can't seem to get the offense off the field. First it's first and goal, and goal at the six-yard line. Denver comes out in a 4-3. Pressure coming, throwing with the adjustment. And that touchdown pass gives them a little bit more of an advantage here in the fourth quarter. Akers comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. The Steelers have it all working now as they continue to expand their lead. Williams is just about ready to kick this one away. Nice distance. This one is handled by Gore. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. First and ten. At the 20 yard line. First and ten. Regular. Parkland, the lone back. Dropping back to pass on first down. Throws it. Incomplete. Gore was the intended receiver on that play. Houston with the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Play football. Come on. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Pressure launches it deep to the left. Interception. The 30. Number 26 comes up with a big play for the defense. The offense gets ready to go following Ball the interception. On the yard run. Check it. I'll come through, baby. Keep it Number 32, down. the deep back. Let's go. Come on. Hand it off. Jenkins is there for the tackle. Number 65 looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Second and eight. Ball on the 21-yard line. We're talking about me. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Hey, watch the ball. He takes the delayed handle. Price comes up to make the play at the 19-yard line. Number 32 battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Right. 
They're in the red zone. Six. Ball on the 19-yard line. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Let's turn it up, D. Hey, watch the screen. Hand off to the tailback. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hands. This officially will be a 37-yard attempt. The kick sails through the uprights. We've updated our turnover stat, and it looks like this. Williams keen to kick this one off. Good distance. This one is fielded by Gore. This is one of those situations where they're playing for respect. The game really hasn't gone the way they thought it would, but they have a lot of pride in their team. And I'd expect to see them keep fighting till that final whistle. They'll Ball on their own 20. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. Get some slack going! Get it up. The Steelers with Get a four-man front. Gets the pass off. Drops the, the intercept. Falls. He's back in his zone. He's and reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. The and then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's go. It's on. Blue down, blue down. The Steelers line up at a 4-3. Throws it. Houston records the stop at the 34. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. Under pressure, throwing on the run. And he makes the grab. Bradford is there for the tackle at the 49-yard line. First down, closing in, rolling. Caught by the fullback on the left side. This one will be spotted at the 49. Watch this. He stands him up and he puts him right down. That's stopping in your tracks right there. Defense, get ready. Let's go. Be physical. Pressure coming. Throws it. Almost intercepted. And Number 26 the was there on the cover. Hatch, the intended receiver on the play. Number 65 was taken out earlier with a minor injury, but now returns to the game. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. With the pass, almost picked off. He's lucky he hasn't been intercepted on this drive. Yeah, but luck eventually runs out. If you're throwing the ball right at defenders like he's been doing, they're bound to come up with one. Moss is back to receive this kick. This one goes out of bounds. Right. 
first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Let's turn it up, D. Number 32, the lone Number setback. Hand it off to the back. Taylor is there on the stop. Number 32 picks up a couple on the delayed hand. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33-yard line. Will, Will, Will. All right, let's go. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Let's run, man. On the ground. Barnett is there for the tackle at the 35-yard line. Number 32 battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35-yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. Cross play to the right. Price comes up to make the play. Solid yardage on that run. You know, people say you got to run the ball, you got to control the clock, but the key thing is you have to run the ball successfully. You have to establish a threat that you're going to make the defense respect. Ball on the 41 yard line. Stay at home. Knock him out. Only one man in the backfield. Hey, let's go. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. Doss had the coverage on the play. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Here we go, baby. The Steelers come out with the receivers bunched on both sides. On the delay. Nick Barnett is having a monster game with 11 tackles so far. And that's a gain of about eight. So there's three minutes left in this one. On the 48 yard line. Everything you got. They've done very well on third down to this point. Deuce it, deuce it. Looking for room. Stiff arm to the ground. Jenkins comes up to make the play. At the 48. No third down run. Not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Williams comes into the game for the punt. Gore into return. Two-minute warning coming up. On the 13-yard line. Come on. Let's go now. Hey, the Steelers on. line up in a 4-3. They'll bring the blitz. Wrapped up. If your total defense gets that many sacks, it's a great game. But when one guy gets them, it shows just how dominant he can be. Now in second and long after the set. Randall back in the shotgun. Johnson comes in motion. The blitz is on. Pressure throwing. Broken up. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air, but it might be a little too late. Third and long. Ball on the six-yard line. Big play now, big play. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The Steelers come out of the quarter defense. Under pressure. He was being patient, waiting for something to happen. <laughs> and it looks like they're going to go no huddle. Dropping back to pass here, needing a big fourth down conversion.
Now it's first and goal at the one. First and goal. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Here we go. Check it out, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Can he get there? Touchdown, Steelers. I'll tell you, they just knocked that defensive line backwards on that play. Watch it here. The offensive line explodes off the ball. The defense can't get any penetration, and the runner is in the end zone. The extra point attempt is good. The Steelers continue to increase their lead. Williams comes in to kick off. Back deep to return. From the three yard line. Gore returns this one to the 21 yard line. So they have first and ten here. First and ten. Watch this. Only one man back. Randall sends a man in motion. He'll pass on first down. Closing in. Gets rid of it. Jumping and has it. Number 26 is there for the tackle at the 32. Randall is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. What screens? The Steelers with a four-man front. Pass play here on first down. Throws it. This one falls incomplete, and they have to go to the air because they need big plays and fans. That's right. You got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Ball on the 32-yard line. Get my cut back. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. They soft, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Defense, get ready. With the throw. The pass ball's incomplete. That's the third one he's been unable to bring in. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. The Steelers line up in the quarter defense. Throws it. Ooh, nearly picked off. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Small is ready to punt this one away. Moss is the deep return man. And he chooses not to return this one. Gets paid at the 19 -yard line. The Steelers will start the drive. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be First anything serious, and his return is probable. Brady go, sends a man in motion. Hey, watch the ball. Let's go. Yeah. This one is handed off. Doss comes up to make the play at the 24-yard line. Gain of five on the play. Second and five. Ball on the 24-yard line. Don't stop. Don't stop that motor. All right, now. 
Now. A little misdirection. Barnett is there on the stop at the 30. So he picks up about five on that run, moving the chains in the process. The line did a great job there of blocking the backside pursuit, which helped him get the first down. First Ball on their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. So this could be the last play of the game. On the 40 yard line. A lot of scoring, but a one-sided game. The final score is the Steelers, 62, the Broncos, 7. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.